Hi, I'm Darren McAvoy, Extension Assistant Professor at Utah State University. I want to talk to you about big box biochar kilns for hazardous fuel reduction and carbon sequestration as part of the National Biochar Week. Appreciate your participation today. I represent the Utah Biomass Resources Group. I'm the chair of the group and co-founder since 2009. We've been working on biochar and other issues. These are a few of our partners. I have many more that too, too long of a list to, to feature here today. And I want to let you know that this is part of a Utah Public Lands Initiative grant that allows this work to happen. The project goals for the Big Box Biochar Kiln project include reducing hazardous fuels, reducing smoke and air quality impacts from pile burning, expanding fuel treatment options, uh, in particular reference to pile burning, producing biochar and sequestering carbon. This is a typical pile that it gets burned in the forest every fall. I've been burning piles like this almost annually since about 1987. And I waste a lot of wood. We all as foresters waste a lot of wood this way. Uh, the firewood pickers have already done their thing and the loggers have done their thing and there's no market value for this wood anymore. So we burn it up in piles like you see here in the bottom right corner of your screen. And that's the pile that I was burning a couple of weeks ago. In some cases, I've waited up to six or seven years to be able to burn piles uh, for conditions to, to come right for that. And so one alternative is to burn this material in biochar kilns. This is a small kiln that I imported from Oregon. Kelpie Wilson taught me how to use one of our first classes here in Utah. Since then, we've done more than a dozen projects, demonstrations and workshops here in Utah with our biochar kilns. And most of today's presentation is the focus on scaling this up. And the big box biochar kilns that I work with now, this one in particular, 17 times the volume of that last small kiln. And here it is operating on the Logan Ranger District about a year ago now in Juniper hazardous fuel removal. This one is called the BB-16. It's a 16 foot long big box kiln that's six foot tall and eight foot wide, weighs about 3,000 pounds and cost about $5,000 to build. This is the second kiln that I built. The BLM owns one just like this. We call it the BB-12. I have a few of them now. And uh, this one is 12 foot long and about four foot high. It's a double wall construction. This allows more even heating and for the firefighters to get a little closer to it, uh, less heat is, is thrown off from it. And the cost of this one is about $6,000 to build. In this view, we're looking straight through an operating big box kiln. You can see some flames jumping out there. And what I want you to notice is there's very little smoke coming out of the kiln. Uh, this is what we call an air, a uh, flame cap and a cap of flame forms across the top of these kilns after you get them going. And this consumes all the combustibles as it comes up through this cap of flame. So it's very clean burning compared to pile burning. I find the kilns are most useful in, in sensitive areas where pile burning is impractical. I think we're always probably going to burn piles, but in some places we can start to apply this new alternative, and especially when we're in close proximity to heavy fuels, when we're near wildland urban interface issues, and uh, when we're within stream management zones. The Colorado River flows between uh, this kiln and the rocks in the background, and so we're protecting the river by making the char in the kiln instead. Just starting this new campaign to point out to folks that this is perhaps the only way you can sequester carbon on the farm, on the ranch, right in your own backyard. So we think this will attract a lot of attention to our program. And the Joint Fire Sciences Program has written this, this sort of approach up in the past in their fact sheet series on success stories. My contact information is here. I'd be happy to come to your state and, and work with you to give you a demonstration and a workshop and teach you how to use big box and, and regular size box biochar kilns. Thank you very much.